let's check today's question abcd is a square inscribed in it is a triangle given to us is the area of triangle def is 15 cm square for triangle cbf it's 20 cm square and triangle aef is 21 cm square using this data we have to find the area of triangle cef Let's check the solution of it. Let's assume the side of the square is x centimeter each. If we have a look at the triangle CBF, the area is 20 centimeter square. Using the formula half base into height, we get half of BF times BC is 20. Putting here BC as x, we'll get the value of BF as 40 upon x. So this BF is nothing but 40 upon X, but full length AB, AB is X. So AF, AF will be X minus 40 by X. So this length is X minus 40 by X. Similarly, looking at the triangle EDC, this area is 15 centimeter square. Again, using formula half of base into height. So half of base into height is 15. Here DC is length of square which is X. So using it will get value of DE as 30 upon X. Now full length DA is X. Therefore EA, EA will be X minus 30 by X. Now solving further, let's look at the triangle EAF. Area is given as 21 centimeter square using formula half of base into height is 21 this value of af and ae we have already calculated in terms of x putting those values here we'll get half of x minus 40 by x times x minus 30 by x is 21 now here in each term we'll take the lcm as x so we'll get x square minus 40 times x square minus 30 is equals to now from LHS, this 2 and x and x from here will go on the other side. So it will become 42x square. Now opening the bracket and simplifying it, we'll get x raised to power 4 minus 112x square plus 1200 is 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in terms of x square. So if we we'll replace x square with y, we can take this as quadratic and solving it by splitting the middle term. So instead of minus 112, we can write minus 100 and minus 12 and then factorizing it to get x square minus 100 times x square minus 12 is 0. So from here we are getting either x square is 100 or x square is 12. So if we look at it, x is the side of the square. So x square is representing the area of the square. Now area of the square can, can never be less than the part of the area, right? So it can never be less than 21 centimeter square. So here the x square equals to 12. That's an invalid answer. So valid answer is x square equals to 100. So full area square area is 100. So we can find the area of this triangle by subtracting these areas from 100. So area of triangle is 100 minus 15 plus 20 plus 21. Solving it will get area of triangle as 44 centimeter square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. We'll see you in next video. Till then, tata. Bye bye.